Okay, so um, I'm going to be looking at the virtual camera setup I have. Um, and so this is it. Uh, so this is the camera it uses. Uh, and so you have on the top a viewfinder. Um, down here in the right you have the smoothness method. On the left you have the time code. Uh, in our case that is just the current time. Uh, the top we have the record status, so it's in standby. Uh, and then here we have the lens. So the controls for it are, um, so they do not use the trigger or the grip button on the side, they only use the buttons and the thumbsticks. So on the right controller is the controls for the camera itself. Uh, so on here on the thumbstick we have, um, there we go. Uh, on the thumbstick we have Come on, there we go. Uh, on the thumbstick, we have the zoom. Uh, so pushing it forward will zoom us in or out. Uh, and then pushing it left and right will shuttle through an active sequence if there is one. So the chair's moving, that is the sequence. So we can line up a camera angle like so. Um, the button on the bottom, the A button there, uh, changes the smoothness method. Um, so there are a couple. The first one is raw. And so this just takes the raw um, smoothness from the controller. Um, so that's not very useful for just handheld, uh, but if you're mounting the controller to, say, a shoulder rig, uh, then that's what you would use that for. Next is smooth. It just smooths the camera out. Uh, so we can use that to get nice, smooth shots like so. Uh, then there's tripod, so the camera won't move in tripod mode, but you can move it around with um, the controller like that. Uh, sorry, look it around. Uh, me, then we have gimbal, so this mimics uh, best I could a gimbal, uh, or how gimbal works. Uh, you can't roll it um, either. Uh, then there's steady cam, which mimics the best I could do for a steady cam, which again you can't roll. Um, like so, and then we go back to raw. Um, the top button on the controller, um, so the B button, uh, that will start and stop recording. So you just hit that, and as you can see, you have a three second countdown before it actually starts recording. And then, and then hitting it again stops, and so you can just start, stop, start, start. If you stop it again before the three seconds is up, it never actually records. Two, one. Anyway, or any, I think, two, one, there we go. Alrighty, so on the left controller, uh, that is in charge of movement. Uh, so the thumbstick moves you around. Um, so back moves you back, left moves you left, right moves you right. Uh, this is dependent on the view, so pushing forward will change which direction we're moving based on which direction we're facing like that. Um, pushing down the thumbstick activates the teleporter, as you can see, uh, and then while it's held down, rotating the thumbstick changes the direction you'll be facing when you teleport. And then when you let go, you'll teleport to that location. Alrighty. Like so. Now, the buttons on here, so the X and Y, change your height. So we can go down, like an elevator, bye bye. Uh, and we can also go up. Like that. So the last button on here that has a purpose is the menu button. You can see at the bottom there. Um, and so pressing that opens up the menu for the VR camera. Now, uh, the t first thing on the menu is the overlay. Um, and so the, even though the triggers don't do anything, when they're in the menu, they do. So the trigger is like clicking something. Uh, so the overlay uh, is sort of what gets overlaid on the screen. So if we hit, uh, hit it, we have a crosshair mode. So that just enables a crosshair so that I can, uh, you know, look around. You can, uh, sorry, um, line up your shots with a crosshair. Uh, then we have the rule of thirds. So another compositional guide, uh, and then back to none. And I can add more if uh, more is needed. Uh, next we have a basic exposure override on the camera. 
if we want to make it darker or lighter that's fine uh, next is the lens so by default pressing forward and back you see it sort of sl switches between these uh, presets um, so by hitting that to zoom now what we can do is when we hold in and out it zooms in and out as though we were using a zoom lens uh, the next one is the camera rotation so by default the moving the controller around can changes the um, you know the rotation of the camera but if we switch this from controller to thumbstick uh, now that doesn't do anything uh, and so the thumbstick on the controller instead will do that so the thumbstick will no longer control zoom or the shuttle but will control the rotation of the camera like that and that works in all the modes so in the gimbal mode move it around steady cam uh, does not work in RAW intentionally, uh, but yeah, all the others it works. Uh, put it back in tripod. Uh, the next one we have is the viewfinder. So by default, the viewfinder is attached to the camera, uh, but if that's in a awkward position or something, uh, then we can switch this to uh, the left hand, and now it'll be attached to the left hand. So now we can control the camera without actually looking at the um, camera, I guess. Uh, so the viewfinder is no longer attached to the camera and all the other stuff work just fine with that right. There we go um, And so the last thing we have on the menu is the height reset So if you've put your height somewhere funky, you've gone up for a, a bit of a bird's eye shot um, Like that and we want to get back to the ground instead of holding down uh, the button to go back down, all we can do is we can just hit the height reset and it'll jump us down. And so that is pretty much everything for this camera for the moment. I'm sure I will be adding and changing things up, but you know, for a um, this is what we'll be using for production for the time being.